so guys if you are uh, facing a problem of not being able to signing in my sql server then i'm going to show you how to fix that so suppose i uh, uh, i was trying today uh, to log in in but i was getting this error access denied for user root at the rate localhost and using password so uh, i was keep trying it and keep trying it but i am getting this error again and again and i was really frustrated with this error and finally found a solution for fixing it so first of all go to task manager and go to services so you have to go to services and look for my uh, sql in this list so you can see my sql et so you, you just need to right click on this and stop the service so now once you done with this now create a new file here on desktop and name it as anything you can name anything here so i am going to name it my sql dash in it so now guys open this file and you have to type sub query here of my sql so which is alter user root at localhost or it should be also in single quote space identified by and single quote and in single quote uh, you should write your password that you use to log in in mysql server so just save this file and copy this file so press control plus c to copy this file so yeah i'm just trying it and it is opening again and again so just copy this file by pressing control plus c and now go to c drive and paste here as you can see our my sql dash init file is here and now go to uh, directory of my sql server which is in uh, program files so yeah go to this and go to bin folder and copy the path so we need to copy this path and you can see our my sql so once you copy close the cmd and open cmd as admin so yeah open this as admin and navigate the directory we have copied just before so to navigate cd and just paste the directory and now guys check on this option hidden items after checking this you will see another folder which is program data and now go to a mysql server uh, folder again and go to mysql server now guys you can see there is my uh, dot any file so you have to copy the path of this file so now now we have to write some uh, command here my sql sql d double dash defaults dash file and equal our uh, double quote and you should you just need to paste the path of my dot any so just and the quote double quote come before doing that just make sure you add double slash in the directory path 
and now type my dot ini and now we are just going to replace this file with our my sql file which is init file is equal to and we have to copy the path of that file which is in the c drive that's why we have paste that file in the c drive to make it easy to uh, write the path of that file so yeah the c drive and then my sql dash init dot txt so this is the name of our file and we have add the uh, query in that file that will help us to log in in my sql server so after this uh, guys you need to add one more thing double slash console because if we uh, run this command we will not be able to see what so what will be happen in the background so just add double dash and console and just press enter so after pressing enter guys so yeah uh, you will see these messages and at the end you will see it is showing ready for connection so once you see this message just uh, try to exit the command prompt or cmd so you can press control plus c to get out of this and as you can see it is showing ready for connection so once you saw this message just get out of the cmd control c and you can press control c and control c and just exit of it and after doing this now you can start the service of my sql which we have uh, stopped before at the beginning and now guys you can delete this file because it is no longer to use now we are going to again open the cmd and you can now try try to log in in mysql server so you can type mysql dash username and root then dash p and just enter the password and as you can see that guys after doing all these steps we have successfully log in in uh, mysql server so you can see all the database present in this server and you can use any of the server any of the database here so yeah that's how you can fix mysql sign in errors so guys i hope you uh, successfully logged in in your mysql server and if still you're not being able to log in in mysql server after watching this video and you have done everything that i have told in this video then guys uh, you have no other option to reinstall uh, the my sql server uh, or workbench in your pc again or if you don't know the process then you can watch the video i have already made the video of installing my sql workbench in window 10 or any windows so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and just make sure you follow all my steps in this video so uh, after following all these steps guys i am 99 percent sure that your issue or your problem will be resolved uh, after doing whatever i told in this video so thanks for watching i hope you like the video see you in the next video till then bye bye